in James 1, we're told not just to hear the word, but to do the word. And so as we think about what does that mean for us and our relationship with scripture, I think it means a few things. We got to start by hearing the word. What does it mean to hear it? I think it can literally mean to hear it. At this point in our lives, we can listen to scripture. Someone will actually read it to us. We can read it ourselves. We can listen to people teach on certain passages. But within that James 1 passage, he also says that uh, we need to look intently into the word. And so once we hear it, we want to look intently into it. What does that mean? It means to study it, to look deeply into it, uh, listen to podcasts. I mean, there's a lot of ways that we can look intently into it so that we can do it. That is the point, that scripture would change us from the inside out and that we would be doers of the word, not just hearers. And so let's talk about how we can hear and look intently so that we can also do. So our church's main method of hearing, looking intently, and then doing is what we call hear journals. And we've learned this from other brothers and sisters who have practiced these hear journals and it's been really useful for them. And it's been really useful for us and I know it will be for you too. So when we're hearing, we're gonna read scripture. And for instance, let's say we read a chapter of the Bible. And so we're hearing in that way. Well, we wanna look intently into it. So that gives us the acrostic of hear. The H stands for highlight. Highlight means if I read a chapter, I'm asking the Holy Spirit to illuminate something within the chapter that I can search out more deeply. And sometimes this is really clear, and sometimes it's not so clear. At times it's jumped off the page, and other times I just thought, well, I guess I'll choose this one. But even the, oh, I guess I'll choose this one times, God has taught me in really intimate ways. And so we want to highlight a verse or two with our H. Second, we want to explain. And this is where we're starting to look intently into the Word. In explaining, we're really focused on the truth of what we highlighted. Who's writing? Who's being written to? What is the truth of the scripture? I really don't want to incorporate myself here at all. We're not asking what does it mean to me. We don't really want to ask that question at all. We're asking what does it mean? Okay, so you, you may want to use past tense language like Jesus said or they said said or they were going through this experience because it's really all about them and the explain. A is apply. This is where I'm starting to come into the picture. The question is still not what does it mean to me? We never want to ask that question. But what does it mean for me? I've understood the truth of it in my explain. But now in looking intently, where do I need to change to fit this scripture? This may be that I need to change the way I'm thinking about a certain situation. This may be that I need to change a behavior. Um, Hopefully though, and this is very important, it's not just we're changing an action, but our hearts are changing and therefore uh, our actions are changing as well. We aren't in the business and God's not in the business of behavior modification. He wants to change our hearts and for that to change. Uh, our, our hands, the way that we live. And so let's get in the last one, and it is R, which is respond. Probably been the most important in my life. Respond is really me and God. I've studied and looked intently into this, and now I just want to talk to my Father. And this may be the time where I need to confess to Him and say, I've been doing this wrong and have repentance in that. Maybe I need to praise him for how good he is of what he's let me learn through this passage and and through this verse I highlighted. And so I have a time of intimacy with God in the respond. And so taking it together, we've now we've looked at the truth. We've thought about how do I need to change? And I've had a time to get to respond to God specifically. And the hopes of what we can do with this is we've looked intently. Now let's do, let's take those applies And with God's help, with his presence, let's now have a heart change that will lead to an action change. And this is going to be instrumental in how we make disciples. Making disciples is a lot about taking scripture in my life 
and my life being submitted to scripture. And using these here journals has been great and I think it will be. So let's get to it.